Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video, back again with Mega Crab, the Vampire Mega Crab. I did a bunch of attacks before I started recording just so you guys wouldn't be completely bored out of your mind during the first couple stages. Had one tiny fail, the last battle, lost connection, or something happened. What happened? On stage 8. Um, but it like kicked me off of the game and I lost an attack there. It was pretty weird, like, no it, no replay was found um, when I tried to go back. It just, the little box was grayed out, so I think it was connection. This sounds pretty sketch right now, but I promise that's how I lost my other one. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going for the diamond statue, and then I'll uh, be done. But on a different note, guys, tomorrow, turning 19, today for you guys, actually, so it's kind of a fun Mega Crab weekend. Probably not gonna do any school and just do Mega Crab, which will be fun. Um, but, okay. The main goal for this base, if you guys don't know, this is the Life Leech Mega Crab. Basically, we get a new Life Leech boost every stage, in addition to our Tank Life Leech, which is given to us by our tribes. So, overall, it's a pretty strong Mega Crab. I really don't know strategy. I'm not being very smart here. You know, up till the last stage, I was just being really, really stupid and just like, my tanks have life leech. I'm going to be able to wreck and destroy all of these bases. But after last base, I'm starting to realize that's not true. And I should probably start paying attention. I mean, I'm going to get the diamond statue. I'm at stage 30 and I have 38 attacks left. Like, it's going to be really easy. Um... But kudos to the people who already have it. Those people are insane. I'm just going to finish taking out some of these splash damage buildings. Good. The rocket launcher and the laser beam, which I just took out. So we're going to flare back up here. Is that shock blaster in range? It doesn't look like it. My chips are really strong, though. So we're going to let's shock it. We'll take out a couple of the rocket launchers. There's just a lot of splash coming in, but this is the whole point of Life Leech. We're able to heal up our troops and uh, stay strong and stay well. Okay. Um, pull out some good bullet. In, bullet is in a good place. Pull out some of my hurt. Nah, not too bad. I'm just going to kind of walk around the base. We'll definitely be able to do it. There's, well, there might be a time battle to be honest. Should be fine. You know, after the rocket launcher goes out, uh, well, most of the rocket launchers, even if the rocket launchers don't go out, like, we're still gonna have life leech and we'll be fine. As long as that shock launcher goes out, I'm probably gonna flare to the shock launcher because bullet will get fried pretty fast here if no troops are targeting it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. So we'll flare to the shock launcher. We'll take down the shock launcher. Flare back up. And take down the rest of the base. Probably should have took down the boom cannon or something. And yeah, now I'm a little worried because there's not much time left. Um, and there's a lot of HP on that core. So... I don't think we're going to get it. Of course, the boom cannons are targeting my tanks instead of bullet. Even though it doesn't matter, Life Leech is healing them up fast enough. This sucks. You know, I thought it was going to be an easy dub. Just too much time wasted going over here. That was oh, such an L. I'm, I'm so mad. That was a mistake. I spent way too much time exploring the base and... <laughs> going down here like all that stuff I did not need to do and I could probably just bart the core down at this point but we're just gonna get my tanks moving up there in case oh that's so annoying I thought for sure we'd have it like starting hitting the base it looks pretty easy but alas it was not um so yeah Jimmy's moving back into college this week so or I think his classes start Monday, so after that, um, he will 
he'll be back at his grind at the school grind guys I've been back for like a month so that was Oh, I'm making mistakes. I'm waiting too long. I just wasted 10 seconds of, of battle, which that last stage could have been the difference between winning or losing. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what I want to do here. I kind of want to just get up to the back and start taking down the shield generators as fast as possible. Let's do that. I don't want to spend all my time destroying defenses that literally do not matter like the defenses on the last base did not matter one single bit it wasn't that bad of an attack it was a pretty good attack still but like attacks that I just did on the last base would not have worked if I did not have um, maybe one more smoke. those attacks would literally not work if I did not have life leech because the rocket launchers would just drain my troops so fast and it would have been really really bad okay let's start taking it down taking down the shields then i think i'll just try to position myself i'm not gonna flare over i don't know if i'll have enough energy but um let's see how much how many troops the shock launcher kills or shocks eight maybe six Oh shoot, I did not see that, just spent critters on it also. Hopefully it doesn't get bullet, don't get bullet please. Yeah, I got bullet. <laughs> kind of expecting that. Little shock, shock launchers, keep the shock launcher shocked. Um, just protecting my, tr protecting my troops, trying to stay together. Okay. See, my troops can handle one boom cannon because they pretty much heal up themselves in one shot. I'm getting so many notifications. This is really annoying. I usually put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Okay. The nice thing about Life Leech is I can do stuff like this. Flare down and just sit here while damage is coming at me from all sides and I can just take out defenses because I have so much life leech. Uh, let's flare to the headquarters. I am worried about the shock launcher on top. Uh, it's probably a dumb move. I always, I always get too carried away. Will I have enough life leech? Well, it just needs to stay alive. Which will be hard because he can't heal himself up. By the way, guys, Bullet heals himself up through Life Leech, which is really cool. There we go. Perfect. Also, Life Leech doesn't work on damage that's dealt by the troop past the fact. So it won't work on Crimeers, it won't work on Grenadiers, and it won't work on Scorchers Persistent. Or the Scorcher Temporary Flame after he leaves a building. That damage that the flame deals which is the majority of damage a scorcher deals would not heal up the scorcher if that makes any sense to, um, to take down the shields so I'm just gonna drop a barrage and start jumping my troops kind of staying over to the left side you know, Bullet, it's okay what he does. I just need Bullet to, to tank all of the Doom Cannon shots. Because Doom Cannons, at this stage, will one-shot my, my tanks. And that's bad, because then Life Leech won't work to heal them back up. So as long as we can keep them alive, or keep him alive, and keep him in a good position, we should be good. And you'll see he's just healing himself up, which is very good. Like, that's what we want him taking initiative and soaking up all the damage and healing himself back up. Be cool to see if Dr. Kavan heals up himself by healing up other troops like through Life Leech. I don't know. That would be an interesting thing to test.
Okay, let's move. Let's move, troops. Let's get back up here and start hitting it. Okay. <laughs> um... Shock launcher shocked. Flare to the shock launcher to hopefully get bullet ahead of my troops. Not like it matters too much. There's no boom cannons really close to us or doom cannons, so we should be fine. But I just want to protect him as much as, or protect my main body of troops as much as possible. Again, guys, these are really easy stages. I should not have had fails so early on. Already down three attacks. Okay, I promise, one of them was due to a connectivity issue. That's for certain. So, I'm not just trying. I would tell you guys if it was a fail on a base. Like, I'm not, I'm not embarrassed about that at all. Just clarifying it up a bit. Beautiful. Stage 32. Gonna be gonna be taken out wow that was a fun one anyway guys i hope you did enjoy the video i'm gonna make one more part one more probably on my main account or maybe two more mega crab videos one of them unlocking the diamond statue of course you know we got that then one probably after mega crab ends my final standings and stuff and then um I'll probably do a couple on my low level let's play account so video upload times might be a little messed up this weekend so just stick with us and i'll try to pump out some videos tomorrow on my b-day anyway i'll talk to you guys next time bye